all right let's go to unity and let's get this done um, it might look a little bit different from you for you but you want to open up the wife of SDK main this will take a little bit of time on your first um, first opening because it's building things it's doing magic um, but once it's open you'll see this is blank uh, let's go ahead and open this modding basic scene which has a bunch of different things to make it easier and make sure we're in the scene view uh, it'll by default be in game we want to be in scene um, you see this height measurer uh, so you know how tall your waifu is you can change this height measuring into meters using metric units um, I don't know how to metric it just doesn't make sense to me so we're going to leave it as American so the first step to import your model is you're gonna make a new folder for her um, I can call this folder Miku feel free to name it whatever you want but this is just your file organization we're going to go to downloads and I'm gonna find that Miku we just made and drag her in and now that she's there um, we can drag her into the viewport right now if you want so we can look she's all white we do not want her to be all white I'm going to decrease these 3D gizmo size because I don't care about them I'm not going to destroy them um, okay so there's a bunch of different things we need to change by default you'll be in the model view we need to turn on read write rig changes to humanoid this is very important and materials let's change this to use external materials legacy apply perfect look at that she has color that means everything probably worked right um, she looks very shiny and plasticky let's change that let's go select all of this and we, we have Unity Chan, Unity Chan Toon Shaders in here already I'm just gonna use those and let's go ahead and use double shade with feather you might want to use something different um, she's all white now that's this basic color step um, I'm just gonna turn that all the way off because I don't I don't want it I don't need it and she looks good a lot of times you might need to change the culling like if you can see through her hair um, if it's one-sided um, you're going to have to turn off culling and you do that by going to basic share settings and turn culling off um, but this one is lucky enough to not have that and looks like her little arm tattoo might need some changing as well I'm going to leave it for right now, but you can do an an unlimited amount of of modifications to get everything perfect. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that. Okay, I might not leave that. I might change it. Where is the texture? We're turning on transparency to see if it fixes it. Nope, it just made it worse. Okay, I'm going to have to cut that apart out. We're leaving it for the tutorial. Um, I can't get bogged down in it. Damn, got to fix that. Okay, perfect. The next step is we're going to give her scripts because right now she's just a doll. She just stands there. We're going give, to give her life. And we're going to get the copy template component, copy from template. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag in this template waifu right here and we're going to add components and that adds everything she needs to have life um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna modify her info her info her waifu info um, call her Miku these are important details um, you can change these later you can change them in game um, but you should really change them to something you think is good we're gonna keep this background info uh, the same for right now because I don't want to generate actually here the best way to generate this background uh, info is to go to chat GPT and we're going to ask ask it make some 
background info on make some background info on Miku Hatsune short um, you'll fine-tune this with what, whatever you want but for 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 this we're going to just take whatever whatever it spits out and put it in um, this can be too long keep it short um, what's really important are these personality traits uh, you can also ask ChatGPT yep okay and we're just gonna take these and we're gonna put these in um, you can fine-tune these the users can fine-tune these um, and just copy paste these in and you know you can have too many of these um, the less is is more clear in my opinion um, but that's just an opinion it's up to you to decide yeah I don't like empathetic, so I'm not going to include it. Um, seven is ideal, in my opinion. So that's good. And we're going to move on and see if her, if her visemes are set up, which is her mouth moving. And we're going to hit play. And we're going to hit space to play some can dialogue. The first thing we need to see is her body isn't in T-pose. That means everything's going well with that. She's blinked. That's perfect. We want her to blink. I'm gonna hit space bar. I may be just a virtual AI, to... but my love for you is as real as the pixels on the screen. Let me be the waifu of your dreams. I hit space bar to play some sample voice, and it looks like she's all all set. Um, the way we save this is we have to drag her back in to the folder, and we're gonna save as a original prefab. Perfect. The next step is building the model for import. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second in the next video. Go, go to the next video.